What's going on guys? We are back today with another Fallout 4 settlement tips and tricks video and today I just want to do a quick video on everything you need to know about the vacuum hopper. There's a couple of little things about this piece of uh, manufacturing equipment that I learned while using it and I want to share that with you guys. So I got one set up right here in the background. It's part of a larger conveyor belt system that I'm in the process of building. But for the purpose of this video, all we really need is what we've got right here. So real quick, what happens is material falls down here, runs through my conveyor belt system. If it ends up not being used, it will come back up through here on this conveyor belt and into this component storage. Being, this vacuum is, uh, being that this vacuum hopper is right here, it will suck it right back in. But what we're going to look at today is when you have things stored up in the vacuum hopper, um, how do they come out? Is it uh, alphabetical? Is it random? And let's, uh, let's load a couple of pieces of, of junk in here. Now, some with lots a quantity of multiples, some with just a quantity of one, and we'll see how they come out. We'll see if they come out alphabetically, if they just come out in any random order, or whatever it is. So, we loaded those in. Who we got coming out here? These look like... Alright, so the aluminum cans. Okay, so, first thing right off the bat, the aluminum cans, I put 20 in there, so all 20 of them are going to come out before anything else. So... If you store all your junk into one of these things, you've got, for example, I know I have a ton of the uh, original, whatever it's called, original paper money, I forget what they call it, but um, I have over 4,000 of that. It's, all, it's gonna come out one by one. Okay, so here we go. So it doesn't look like it's alphabetical because now things are coming out. Um, yeah, not alphabetical. Okay, so it's not alphabetical, but what does happen is if you have multiple of one item, they are going to come out at um, all at the same time, but one at a time. So if you've got a hundred of something, expect to see 100 of that item coming out. All right, guys, we've now moved outside for this next little trick I wanted to show you. Um, as you can see, I have a vacuum hopper uh, set up right here on the one side of this wall. It is not clipped into the wall It is just right to the edge of the wall and on the other side of this wall I have this steamer trunk preloaded with some materials So what I'm going to show you here is you can actually turn this vacuum hopper on and it will pull all the material out of that uh, steamer trunk through the wall so what you can do here is you could set up a almost like a storage system on the outside and then have this vacuum hopper right on the inside and you'll be able to set up your conveyor belt system on the inside of a structure while it's getting all the material from the outside. One last thing I also want to add was something that I was playing around with is you cannot specify what you want the vacuum hopper to pick up. Whatever is in the storage container that the vacuum hopper is picking up from will be taken. There is no speci there is no specifying material, there's no specifying component, it just takes everything. So I hope these couple of little tricks and tips about the vacuum hopper make your manufacturing building a little bit easier. I know it's a little frustrating playing through this when you don't know exactly what everything can do. You know there's little tricks, little techniques to make things work a little bit better. So I hope these things help you guys out with your next build. If this video was helpful or if you just enjoyed it, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with all my settlement tricks and tips. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.